What's going on guys? Wei Ko from Revolution here with Jeremiah Chan. How are you, sir? I'm good and very excited today. We're Dude. at Patek Philippe in Singapore. And it's a glorious day indeed because it is New Nautilus Day. I, I think that this should be accompanied by some <laughs> kind of theme music. Maybe we can put it on, maybe something like Richard Strauss's, uh, you know, song from like 2001 The Space ah, Odyssey. Odyssey yeah. You know, like da 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 da. The long-awaited watch is finally here. It is the successor to the 5711. It is the 5811. And it is executed in this particular iteration in white gold. So what can we tell you about the watch? Well, first thing is, instead of 40 mm, it's 41 mm in diameter, which doesn't bother me at all because I'm really old and my eyesight is getting worse and worse. <laughs> and it allows me to be able to read the time with much greater clarity. The first thing I see is, of course, the stunning blue gradient dial. And then I look at the date wheel and it's got this great font that reminds me of the anniversary novels as well, which has been incorporated into this as a subtle clue. And in addition to that, you've got a white gold case uh, that is actually two parts, so very similar to the 3700 1A that I'm wearing here, as opposed to the three-part case that was being used in its uh, predecessor. Uh, what else is really cool about this watch? Well, actually, it's got a deployant that allows you to expand it by 2 mm on each side. Kind of a tropical link, you know, uh, and I think that that's great, especially if you're living in a climate like Singapore, where the watch fits perfectly when you're in an air-conditioned room, but then you go outside and all of a sudden it's a little, a little bit tight, right. you know? And your wrist expands. But here, you take the watch and give us your reflections and tell us something about the winding stemmer. Well, it's some technical developments of the Caliber 26 330 that are really cool. And uh, it's been an evolution of the 324SC, the previous movement. And like you said, your original 3700 is a two-part uh, case. So the bezel and the crown uh, guards are fused as one piece. And of course, the case middle and the case back is one piece as well. And when you have a construction like that, it's difficult for the watchmaker to access uh, the setting lever, uh, whether it's a push pin or, or a screw um, which attaches the setting lever to the base plate of the movement, right? you can only access it from the movement side, but obviously now that the case back you know, is one piece, you, you can't do that. So Patek Philippe has actually uh, changed the, the uh, orientation from the movement side to the dial side, so it's easier for the watchmaker to remove the stem from the movement. And uh, I mean, it's incredible. I mean, small touches like that, even awesome. for after sale service. We actually have a Patek Philippe watchmaker right next to us off camera. His right. name is Kay. Kay, did we get that right? Yeah. Awesome! Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, you're very kind. <laughs> Thank you, Kay. So uh, in addition to that, they're also launching, yes, the 5990 is back. Oh, oh my favorite not Let the jubilation begin. I'm sure there's people all around the world celebrating now as well because mm. this was the watch that everyone was crazy for. This was also a watch that like, the secondary prices of this watch were absolutely insane. I know we're not supposed yeah. to mention that, but people just went completely nuts for this watch. And why? Well, in many ways, because it's the perfect package. It's got the iconography of the Nautilus, which let's face it, is one of, if not the most beautiful sports chic right. watch in the world. And then it's got a travel time function. Mm -hmm. So you can tell time at home time and uh, local time as well and has a little like in a porthole so tell you if it's day or night and both right. local time and home time which is amazing and then on top of that it has a vertical clutch uh, chronograph right. automatic with if I'm not mistaken the first use of the silicone uh, escapement wheel mm. and an escape uh, anchor as well right, right? and hairspring as well yeah right? ah. <laughs> Fantastic. And because it's a vertical clutch, you can run the chronograph all day, you know, you won't have to worry about affecting the timekeeping. You can use that as a running seconds hand. Yes. What I really love about the Final Night Old Travel Time is the profile of the Nautilus case. It gives a symmetry between the, the chronograph pushes here, uh, where the crown is, and obviously the travel time pushes uh, on the left hand it's side. It's just a case. perfect watch. You know, I know I'm wearing gloves, but I got to put it on anyway. So I, these are incidentally very special Patek Philippe gloves. And this also has a new bracelet which allows you to um, increase uh, the uh, size of the bracelet by 2 mm on, on either side, mm. which is super, super useful. I have to say this watch is stunning. And that graded blue color. Wow. Okay. Whew. That is a very hard watch to take off my wrist. But so if you own the Black Dial uh, model, I think it's only been in production for about six years. Yeah, six, 2014 years, it was yeah. launched and then it was just recently discontinued. Right? Exactly. Yeah. So that's going to be future collectible. Well, I think they're all collectible, <laughs> <laughs> but that's an amazing watch. So well done, uh, Patek Philippe, well done, Terry Stern. And let's go from there to the Nautilus Moonface, right. the 5712, now in rose gold with, I have to say, that's one of the it. most stunning dials that I've seen in recent memory. I don't even know how to describe this I, beyond it being gorgeous. I would say it's it's kind of cognac, but bronze and gradiated. I mean, it's just magnificent to behold, and it just suits this watch so beautifully, right? right. Look at that. 
I mean, this with like a white Speedo, this like winter in, in the Maldives, I think this is a perfect combination, like rose gold rim sunglasses, mm -hmm. phenomenal. Absolutely stunning here. Jeremiah, you I'll can make your on. reflection on that watch. Wow, this is awesome. I mean, I always love the 5712, uh, the case profile on the side. It's so thin. I mean, obviously it has complications of the moon face at seven, power reserve at 10, but it's completely legible. You know what I mean? And when the 5711 came out uh, in 2006, I mean, I, the whole world went crazy, right? Right. And no one really took notice of the 5712. Yes. But you know what I mean? It's and then, then subsequently people went crazy for Exactly. It. <laughs> when you couldn't get the 5711. Yeah. yeah, but then it developed its own sort of cult collectible status exactly. in its own right. Yep. Now, the other thing that's cool about this watch is just like the others, it also has a special deployant that allows you to expand the bracelet on either side by 2mm. So a total of 4mm, right? So we're going to go from there to the 7118, which is this stunning Nautilus. It is this watch right here. I'm going to not call it a woman's watch. I'm going to call it a mid-size reference because I would absolutely wear this watch. But this watch is stunning to behold in particular because the bezel is invisibly set with spezzatite. That's a hard one, guys. Yes, sir. <laughs> spezzatite uh, stones, one. which are from the Garnet family. Yes. And the gradation of the setting is incredible. Like, look at that. It's actually cognac color at 12 and 6 o'clock. And then it kind of gradiates to a lighter uh, tone. I would say almost a champagne color, if I may, mm -hmm. uh, at nine and three o'clock. And so I'm gonna put it on my wrist just to show you that I feel as if that a man could totally wear this watch. Dude, I would totally wear it. I know you would. <laughs> I love that, absolutely stunning. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us, Jeremiah. Thank you for your time as well. Happy uh, to be here. Yes, yeah, so happy Nautilus Day to everyone. I know I can hear you probably not even watching this anymore because you're like in your cars or like running to the paddock uh, boutique yeah. to try to put your name down for one of these. Um, uh, happy hunting. Congratulations to all of you for your uh, extraordinary uh, uh, taste in terms of watches if you love the Nautilus and peace. Thank you, Patek Philippe, for having us. In particular, thank you. Oh, no, thanks Kay as well, who's off camera. Thank you. Thank you. You're awesome, <laughs> thank Kay. You. Thank you. Thank you.